Hey, how's it going guys? It is Fox and I take here. Welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of my F1 2021 Road to Mercedes. We're here for episode number 40 and the finale of season number two and our final race with this dog of an Aston Martin as we finally will be able to promote ourselves into Mercedes for next season because we completed all of our objectives. If you ever enjoyed today's video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. And um, as you can tell, we're currently already at qualifying specifically because I s decided to skip to go straight to quali and I completely forgot uh, to, uh, I didn't realize it would just go put me straight into the cutscene. I thought it would take me uh, to the laptop where I could mess around a little bit. So I'll show you guys the laptop afterwards, but we're here. And I don't even know, not, well, I don't even know now what setup uh, I can do. Well, I know I'm going to use my Abu Dhabi setup, but I don't know. Oops, don't skip any further forwards. Um, 11, 9 wings. That's a weird setup. 6, 8 on the right eye as well. That's also weird. Hmm. I'm genuinely going to, I'm going to have to improvise for this, aren't I? Uh, which is not good. You never want to be improvising when you're doing this. So we'll go 10 10. We'll do that. If my setup sucks, it, it sucks okay, and, you, and I blame myself for it. But at the end of the day, this is the last race and it means nothing much to us anyway. This car's always horrible to drive in quality. And then uh, a bit of a pain in the race. So let's get on with it. And I will see you guys for the end of my first lap where it will either be rubbish and I'll complain or it will be. Uh, I'll just crash basically, is the other, the other option I've got. Mm, it's about probably where we should be. Half a second off Alonso. Just ahead of one of the Williams cars who are in front of us on performance. Felt like it. Oops. Felt like an okay lap. Just slow. <sighs> fucking car. I swear to God. Oops. Not that. Where's the. No one. Oh wow, I actually made it into Q2. <laughs> okay, fair. I <laughs> just okay. Never mind. Let's throw the Q two. What, what the? Okay. Well, there we go. That's P fifteen. It was kind of a waste of me doing a Q two lap to be honest. So I was about three tenths down uh, on P eleven in the mill sector. Uh, and then I lost seven tenths in the final sector, just to prove the solidify how painful this fucking car is to drive. Okay, no wonder I was slower than P11. It was Lewis Hamilton, he got knocked out because he was only four tenths slower. I was 1.4 seconds slower. Fuck my life. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and talented Spaniard Carlos Sainz completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have... Verstappen, Norris, Charles Leclerc, and Perez, Russell, Hamilton, Stroll, and Esteban Ocon, Thomas, Giovinazzi, Daniel Ricciardo, and Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Gasly, they've taken a grid penalty, Christian Lungard, and Yuki Tsunoda, Fernando Alonso, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Nikita Mazepin, now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right, so, final race ever for Aston Martin. We're on the grid, and we're going to get straight into it. Soft to mediums, a couple of penalties have been applied. Um, but I genuinely didn't look at them, so I don't know. Five lights. Really shoddy start. Wow. Ocon's giving me a tap there. That was a, uh, a risky attack there on Stroll. Rip the 50 meter board. That's going to screw me over for my braking. Good run here on Russell. He's clearly running with less downforce because I am running with a lot of it to compensate for no corner speeds, but it's fine. Super exit. Let's get on the power. Okay, on this drive we seem to have some speed. Oh, 
Position gained. Still currently P8 at the moment. Just staying behind Hamilton, really. I'm not pressuring him too much. Uh, turn two and three, the swooping left and right handers in the first sector. I'm losing so much time there. It's honestly about half a second plus a lap at the moment. It's really quite depressing. That's uh, that's why on the exit. Jesus. Um, apart from that, yeah, pace is okay. It's nothing special. Um, we're just stuck really behind these medium tire runners who I want to pass quite soon, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't think I've got the pace to stay with them, stay ahead of them, sorry. Might just be a case of undercut and then do it that way. Alright, here we come then. Time to pit. We're going to get held slightly on the exit. Um, in fact, we're just going to get held in general because we've got the Alpines and the Zastons that are coming through, whatever they are, Alpines and Alfa Romeo, so we are going to get held, it's just going to be a pain. It's not as bad as I thought. It was a little bit held, lines. It's, mm, it's okay. It's okay, but I don't. I think that's going to okay, take me out of DRS and Lewis now, which is exit. annoying. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving mm, if you cross that's over not the good. track. In fact, oh no, I think that's shafted me heavily. Look what one lap of not having DRS has done. I'm over three seconds behind now. It's just painful. That's no fun. Fuck me. Right, well, uh, that's a premature end to what was turning into a very painful afternoon of racing. Verstappen finishes down in P7. He must have had a problem towards the end. But Bottas wins ahead of Landon Norris. Scheintz finishes in third ahead of Perez. Leclerc in fifth. Hamilton sixth. Verstappen seventh. Gasly eighth. Stroll ninth. Giovinazzi in tenth. Where's my teammate Stroll? Finishes in 16th. That just kind of proves already. Fuck me. Fast stuff for 35-4. Uh, what did everyone else be setting? 33s. Yeah, sod that. Um, yeah, the car was just absolutely undrivable. Uh, and it kind of rounds off a very depressing uh, end to the season with Aston Martin. But it is what it is. Uh, in the Drivers' Championship, though, we win it by 78 points. Uh, Leclerc finishes third ahead of Hamilton. Norris jumps for Stappen. Uh, Perez finishes in seventh. Sainz jumps Ricardo in the constructors. It is Mercedes winning ahead of Aston Martin, finishing second. Ferrari finish in third with Red Bull fourth. McLaren fifth. Alfatari sixth. Alpine seventh. Williams eighth. Alfa Romeo ninth. Haas finishing last. But there we go, guys. That is it for the final race here in Abu Dhabi. Unfortunately, it was a sad ending, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Or no, someone else. I've I did not want to do that. Let me just uh, cancel that. I don't want to sign for you. That is a massive no-no. We have had enough now to get ourselves promoted to Mercedes. And that's exactly where I'm going. Unless they decline my approach, which I genuinely thought they might. Do I go with a medium risk or do I just go with a high risk? Medium only 9.8. I'm sure they'll accept a cheeky 9.8. They should anyway. Boom! There we go. We have signed ourselves with Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 team and our road to Mercedes is complete. Although I am still going to be racing with them nonetheless. But there we go. We can now... What have we got? 595,000. So we could do one of these. I don't care about driver acclaim. Um, I can't do any more of that because we've done that one. So I guess we will reduce our engine wear. Help with durability in the power mapping side of things. I'm happy with that. We move, we move, right. Let's see if it gives us uh, anything now on towards the laptop that we can look at. Or just give me a black screen. That also is nice with a bit of music. Just to soothe in the, oi, 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 oi. Seeing my number on that Merc is quite frankly sexual. As expected, Fernando Alonso has now officially left the sport. Has that actually granted anybody any specific uh, places, or have they just not acquired those yet? No, it doesn't even say. So our teammate is Lewis Hamilton for next season, which is absolutely awesome. I'm so excited to drive alongside Lewis Hamilton. Now, we have 3,000 RD points, and as you can see, everything is actually spec three. I can add, Jesus Christ, this team has not made hardly any aero work. Good. 
Holy shit, you want 3,000 R&D points to do that? Fuck me, are you two th Fam, no wonder Mercedes are not... Oh, right, okay, Jesus. Oh, no, they've done... They've Oh, no, they've done that break upgrade. Apparently that one is AIDS. Well, no, uh, it doesn't matter. 3,000 R and... Fuck me, is this an ultimate upgrade? That's probably why, but Jesus Christ. Okay, in terms of the power unit side of things, oh, the cylinder head failed. That's a rip for the team. So, ask, oh yeah, look at that. This is the problem, right? Actually, this, get, this actually allows me to show you. This actually allows me to show you. Look at this, right? So, aerodynamics, you can see here, if we look at the aero on the performance chart, because it shows us this here, Aston Martin, our team, has the third worst aero on the grid, right? Go to chassis, right? Aston Martin has the third worst chassis. And then go to power units, and Aston Martin has by far the strongest power unit. So, if you're probably wondering why it's so hard to drive this car, we theoretically have a dog awful aero and chassis, but great power unit. So all these races, I've had to whack on loads of downforce to try and compensate because I got a good power unit in there. But bloody hell, they want a lot in there. A durability as well. And then of course we have Aston don't even have the best durability. And I'm, oh no, I didn't, did I? Still, 2,000 R&D points for electric. Jesus, fuck. This is going to be actually a good challenge because how the hell are we going to afford all these upgrades on? But nonetheless, though, we're going to advance time, I think. There's nothing really that I could do unless I try to put something on now. Is there anything I can put on now? So we could do DRS if we wanted to, but that's not really necessary. We could do front wing, rear downforce we can't do. We need to do the maximum slot gap in order to do that. So we could do this if we wanted to. It'd be the 9th of March and it arrives. The aero, we, oh, sorry, the chassis were a long way clear. The power unit, I mean, how many, how many is this? This is 650. Right, what we'll do is we will slap on this upgrade here for the DRS. Then we're not going to rush it. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Boom, slap that on. And then over to the PU, we can slap that on right there. There we go. That is what we're going to do on that front. And that's where we're going to leave it. And there we go, guys. We can no, end the season. Some to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Fine, doesn't matter. Um, but guys, that is going to be it. We are done with our road to Mercedes. And, well, with Aston Martin. Because our road to Mercedes is now us in Mercedes. And I can't wait because I'm a Mercedes fan. And I'm really looking forward to it. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. And if you guys want to know when the next episode of Road to Mercedes will be launching, basically whenever they release the new update now. Uh, I'm recording this after the Turkish Grand Prix on the Sunday. So you should actually see this probably on the Tuesday. Uh, and whenever they release Emilia, I'm not going to click finish season now. Specifically because I want to be able to select the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix for my career mode. But um, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys for the new season. Take care all. Peace.